Hey Cancer, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general tarot reading for the end of February, going into March of 2023. We're gonna check you guys out and see what's coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. This is for Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So you could be a Cancer or you could be dealing with a Cancer. Take it resonates and leave the rest. Please do not force it to fit. If it's your reading, you will know. Um, and if you're interested in a personalized tarot reading, all the details are in the description box below. Have a look. I do have a sale going on on my Etsy shop. Um, pretty much on everything from my readings, my tarot, oracle decks, spiritual jewelry, cheat sheets. I also offer um, printable decks if you don't want to spend money on the actual physical deck. All right, so let's jump right in. Messages for Cancer. All right, we got the moon. So there's your energy. The moon in reverse. So there could be some fears. There could be some insecurities right now regarding a situation. Maybe you're telling yourself something here. Well, okay, that isn't really entirely true. Um, the moon can talk about things that are hidden, okay? Things that are unseen, things that have been done behind closed doors without you knowing or even behind your back or in the dark, right? So there could be someone here that you feel like there's something up, there's something going on, I just feel it, right? You're very emotional with the moon. This could speak about your emotions at an all-time high, especially if you feel like something's going on and you just don't know about it, okay? So these things, these topics could be definitely, you know, kind of heavy right now. In your life, you can feel like, again, there's something going on. I just don't know. There's something unseen, um, but definitely emotions, highs and lows here, okay? So in the recent past, my Cancers, we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Lovers, Gemini energy, and the Fool, Aries energy. So in the past, it does feel like you wanted to take a risk with someone. There's an idea of like moving forward, jump into the unknown, not being sure what's going to happen, but why not? There's someone that you may have saw as someone being very stable and secure, maybe someone that can add stability and security to your life. There's someone that maybe you had high hopes for. I mean, the King of Pentacles is someone that you may have wanted commitment with. The lovers in the verse, though, it does feel like maybe a decision was made to not move forward. Even if an opportunity was presented, someone may have not taken up this opportunity. The lovers in the verse could suggest that you guys had this incredible connection, but someone still felt like, well, maybe it's too risky or it's not for me or I just don't want it. Someone could have been very much focused on their own success, okay, and not really the success of the relationship. Maybe they were all, all about pouring into themselves, but not into you, okay? So let's take a look. Cancer, the current energy is the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Empress, and the Ten of Wands. Someone could definitely be wanting to come back to clear the air and confess something to you. I feel the Empress in reverse could signify the Divine Feminine here, maybe finally turning their back. And there was some kind of burden or, or baggage, blockage that this person has created. There could be feeling of um, baggage and being able to get back to this Empress, okay? Now, with the Empress in reverse, it does feel like something just isn't growing, isn't thriving because it wasn't nurtured, it wasn't cared for, it wasn't valued. And so someone may have not seen your value. Someone may have not shown you that you're worth it. And so there could be the energy of now wanting to make it right, coming clean, Seven of Swords. It could be like now also finding a strategy on how they can overcome some kind of burdensome uh, situation, okay? Some kind of ending with that Empress. All right, let's take a look what's external to you, my Cancer. It's the Tower, Scorpio Energy, the King of Cups. That's your energy or maybe someone you're dealing with. We have the Judgment in Reverse and the Page of Pentacles. Someone is definitely reluctant to make the first move. There's an energy here of someone really having a lot of deep emotions and feelings, but maybe not being able to express it. Someone can be recognized and I've made a series of bad decisions or I made one big bad judgment call. And there's the energy of like recognizing that, but also maybe avoiding a situation, avoiding telling you, avoiding reaching out, avoiding communicating with you. Someone is reluctant, okay, to make the first move or initiate things. They could feel like they don't have much to offer. They could feel like the offer is too small, okay? But I see the tower. Maybe your person has gone through some kind of big, big change in their life, some kind of big destruction Something may have fallen apart, came tumbling down their life, and now they're realizing this, right? Now they can realize that I've made some bad decisions. I didn't love, you know, cancer properly, or I was uh, unavailable in love, right? King of Cups could be just unavailable. 
So the page of pentacles could suggest that someone still wants to invest and they could be coming in with good intentions, but they just don't know how to make the first move or how to open up the lines of communication, how to send that offer. <laughs> All right, the outcome. Two of pentacles in reverse, six of cups, and the page of wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. You know, I think that the energy is suggesting that someone may be wanting to reconnect and even reconcile with the six of cups. There's the energy of wanting to reconcile with a past lover. But there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of ups and downs, two pentacles. Someone may be feeling like, just not sure. Should I do it? Should I make the first move? Um, I do see some kind of passionate exchange, some kind of communication, dialogue, movement. Page of Wands could be definitely a message that comes through and it's very inspirational. It's very motivational it's very enthusiastic you know it could be coming toward you cancer and you may be having to consider you may be having to figure out right with that six of cups if this is something you want to consider so let's jump right in let's see what else we could find out with this energy like your comment and subscribe and we're gonna start off with the challenge right Let's see, messages for cancer going into March. All right, give me that moon, it's things that are hidden. You may be feeling like you just don't know where you stand with someone right now. You can feel very emotional because of a situation as well. And then we have the Ace of Cups. So yeah, the moon could talk about fears and insecurities as well of not knowing what's going to happen after this is falling out. There's a feeling of a missed opportunity with someone that you loved and cared for. So the Ace of Cups is like, you know, are we going to have this new relationship? You know, how does my person feel? Do they still love me? Do they still care? You know, you may be feeling like you're in limbo. You're in a really dark place or just there's a lot of unknowns. In the past, the lovers and the fool. The chariot in reverse, the six of cups, and the knight of pentacles. I almost feel like someone here really wanted to take their time. I feel there's an energy of um, knight of pentacles. Being reliable, being certain, but maybe not going at the place that you wanted them to go at. I mean, I'm seeing this as someone that may, maybe you reconciled with in the past. Six of Cups is telling me you guys have a lot of past history. There's a lot of emotions that have developed over a period of time. There's a lot of shared experiences, memories you guys have made. But it almost makes me feel like the full card. When it came time to taking that next step, taking a risk, putting yourself out there, someone said no. Cheer in reverse. Someone wasn't ready to move forward. Someone didn't feel like maybe this would be victorious or be the next best step for them, okay? Again, there could have been a big focus on someone's like own stability. Maybe feeling like, well, I don't want to take that sacrifice. I don't want to merge finances. I don't want to move forward in this venture. There could be something regarding, again, the pentacle, money, assets, resources, finances, okay? Give me another card on the Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles energy. Five of Swords, so there could have been some kind of disagreement. Maybe you guys had different ways of viewing money, assets, resources. You know, the Five of Swords is conflict, it's challenges, it's lies. So maybe someone lied about their ability to commit, their ability to be stable. There's something here that just wasn't making sense, wasn't driving the puzzle pieces when not coming together, okay? And for those reasons, it feels like that's why a decision was made to not move forward. Now, the energy of the Seven of Swords, owning up, confessing, and we have the Seven of Cups in reverse and the High Priestess. Someone definitely could be owning up, confessing, and taking accountability for bringing a lot of confusion and uncertainty to the connection. Creating illusions. Maybe they had other people, other options that they were considering as well. The High Priestess could be a secret person. So maybe there was someone they weren't telling you about that they were dealing with with the Seven of Cups that brought confusion to the connection. You didn't know where you stood. You didn't know uh, how they felt for you. And the Empress may have felt like, I'm not being cared for. I'm not being nurtured. I'm not being taken care of. I don't feel like I'm the priority here. And it's because of the seven of cups, other people, other options of some sort, okay? We also have the four of swords in reverse and the king of cups. Someone is definitely coming in to their feelings for you. Someone is learning how to mature up or mature, uh, emotionally mature, okay? Especially with the king of cups energy. And it's coming out the break. So four of swords, maybe there's like a four week break or four month break. The four of swords makes you feel like during this break, during this time of absence, of um, parting ways, a temporary break, it does feel like your person has a lot of time to really think. Think and reflect, four of swords, find and make peace with the situation, maybe find peace of mind with regard to their feelings for you. So that's what's going on right now. Someone is coming into their feelings, becoming more aware of how they feel and not look at it as a 
burden or blockage or something they don't want to deal with, right? All right, or casting aside, like casting their feelings aside and being very secretive with it with the high priestess. Could be a Pisces here. All right, so there's something that they've been avoiding, and it does feel like the tower. Well, it comes tumbling down. It's like they have to deal with it. You can't keep uh, running away from something. Three of swords, seven, seven of swords in a verse, and a two of wands. So I definitely feel like your person has gone through their fair share of hurt and pain. Three of swords could be this breakup or separation has triggered a, a big, big enlightenment for them because it feels like the tower has brought some kind of change to them. Where the seven of swords in a verse came out twice, they're now wanting to own up. They're now wanting to open up. They're now wanting to confess, come clean, take ownership, be accountable. Okay, so there's definitely that energy coming in. King of Cups, again, it's regarding someone's deep emotions and feelings. And I don't think this is your energy. It feels like you're dealing with the King of Cups for a lot of you guys. Okay? Um, but it also could be like your person looking at you as someone they really deeply care for. If that is your energy with the King of Cups. And there's some decisions that they made that they're not proud of, right? And they're not standing proud of it right now either. And so the two of wands could mean like they're making better decisions as to how to move forward. And making better decisions because they want a different kind of life moving forward wands is action moving forward progress okay progress of some sort all right so the judgment and the page of pentacles in reverse three of cups in reverse seven of pentacles in reverse and the queen of swords okay someone is going to be coming in with truth with honesty there's a lot of thinking and feeling like well i haven't invested properly this isn't what i want maybe they've invested in other people with the three cups and that was a bad decision maybe they invested in someone that they really don't see growth with and now they're thinking long term seven of pentacles suggesting if they were playing around in the past there was the energy of like, like i want to get real i want to invest in people situations places that are a good investment for me and that can propel me forward so judgment in reverse is suggesting no more bad decisions and I, I want to do better. And so there could be some communication coming out regarding that. And it's very honest. It's very truthful. Queen of Swords, okay? All right, so let's take a look. We have the energy of Page of Wands, some kind of um, movement, change, energy, strategy. Someone is very, very creative, coming up with the means on how to maybe move things forward, reconnect, Six of Cups. We have the Two of Swords in a verse, the Page of Swords in a verse, and we have the Ace of Swords. There's a lot of communication coming in. So if you haven't been hearing from your person, oh, yeah, rest assured, there's a um, breakthrough. There's a break, breaking of silence and opening up the lines of communication, especially if you guys have been kind of like, you know, looking at each other behind the scenes, social media, that kind of thing, Page of Swords, trying to find out how the other person's doing without asking them directly. You're finally like getting out of that energy. Two of Swords is a big decision regarding a reconciliation. Do I want it? Yes or no? Two of Pentacles. You're going to have to make a decision, Cancer, because someone is coming in and putting pressure on you to move forward. They want to have some kind of passionate exchange. You could have a lot of attraction toward them. They can have a lot of attraction toward you, and it may feel like you're having to compromise or having to like let go of something. Okay, and two of swords can be cutting out something completely, letting go of anger, letting go of something that just isn't serving you. So there's a lot of communication that may help you do this. Okay, especially if you have a big decision to make two of swords. Okay, I love it. I mean, I think the biggest thing is like, can you trust something? The moon, you may have a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings for someone. Um, and I think that at the end of the day, the Ace of Cups, you know, there's still love here. And there's a new beginning that wants to come in. And a lot of you are going to have to... Uh, Set aside your fears, set aside your your um, overthinking, confusion, emotions regarding the situation. Ace of Cups is coming in. Is this something you want? And you're going to have to answer to this, okay? All right, Cancer, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. And have a beautiful, amazing weekend. And I'll check you guys out in a few days. All right, take care.